I'm Rafa Bartoszewski. I've lived in a city for all my life, but I always knew that the best and the most important things are outside. That's why I want to take you. Closer to the nature. I left the house early in the morning, but it was worth it. I think that if we Poles would have to answer the question with which bird we associate our country, two answers would appear equally often. With the white eagle, which we have in our coat of arms, and with the white stalks, whose return we await every spring. It has a reason. For years, Poland was the country where the biggest amount of birds were born. But the data from the latest counting of these birds in 2014 show that the situation has changed and now storks prefer Spain. But the difference is not very big. The white stork is a big white bird with red legs and a beak and black quills. It comes to Poland in spring and leaves the country in autumn when it goes to the Africa to the wintering regions. When it arrives to our country, it starts working on the nest almost immediately and it will wait inside of it for its second half. This species often builds nests on agricultural areas and doesn't avoid human. It prefers meadows and farmlands but if a given place is permanently or temporarily flooded with water, it's just an additional advantage. The white stork is a monogamous bird during one season. The male creates a relationship with the female and together they care about their nest, eggs and the youngs. The pair strengthens the bond between them by special behavior, which consists bowing, clapping, and other petting. It often happens that in the next year the same birds are together, but it doesn't have to be that way. The animals are most faithful to the place where they have built the nest than to the partner, which means that the stock, which comes from the Africa to the nest earlier, most often is a male, may not wait for his partner from the last year and he can create a relationship with a new one, which will come to his nest. They will not accompany each other during the journey to the wintering places. White storks look for the food mainly on the ground or in the shallow water. Eight storks are fitting behind me at the moment. Does it mean that this place is particularly abundant in frogs? No. 
Stork's diet is very diverse. These birds eat small mammals, reptiles, amphibians, insects, earthworms, to some extent also fish or chicks of other birds. Honestly, there is a lot of it. Their diet doesn't even base on the frogs. If they eat one of them, it's fine, but there is not too many of them. During creating and subsequent expanding the nest, storks use everything which fits to the construction. These are not only natural materials and birds can use strings, plastic bags and all kinds of things that were thrown away by people nearby. When the nest is ready, storks defend it against the other storks, but it doesn't bother them if other species of birds, like sparrows, move in. The white stork's nest can be a very big construction. This one is quite small, but the biggest ones can weigh even more than a ton. But how birds can build something that big? It's a long lasting process. During many years the storks come to the same place to the place where they have nested before and every time when they come back they expand the structure, improve it and add new layers. And that's why the nest is getting bigger year by year. I like that mix of colors. In a few days the female lays 4-5 eggs in the nest and both parents take care of them for a little over a month. After that, young storks will hatch, but they look different than their parents. They are white, but their beaks and legs are dark, almost black. The adult birds take care of them and they bring them food and water. On hot days they even pour the water on them to make them cooler. There are, however, years when there is not enough food and they can't feed all of the chicks. If it happens, they have to throw the weakest chick out of the nest. For them it means death, but the other youngs will survive. In late July and early August, the youngs learn how to fly, and when it's time to go to the wintering place, they start earlier than their parents, and they don't need their help. Older birds usually gather on the feeding grounds in large flocks before they fly to the Africa. Because the white stork doesn't avoid human, people have created many proverbs and folk beliefs that were connected with it. People waited for these birds and for the spring life which was coming with them. The white stork is the animal connected with the Polish countryside, with the typical Polish countryside. It happened because it was just lucky. There were a lot of positive associations with the white storks in old times. People wanted it to build a nest on their house. It meant that there would be prosperity in this house. The stork in the nest was also a guarantee that the lightning will not hit this place. The stork brought the spring, babies, so it was very well-liked bird. And still it is. It's a pity that the black stork was not so lucky. It's hard to imagine the spring and the summer without the white storks, and although they are efficient predators, 
I think that they arouse sympathy in everyone, and everyone, regardless of whether old or young, likes to look at them when they walk on the cross on their long red legs.